Yeah, that's right. The committee has subpoenaed Donald Trump Jr. to come back and testify after he first came before this committee in 2017. And what we are learning, Wolf, is that Donald Trump Jr. is in a standoff with the committee about returning before this panel. There's some concerns within Trump Jr.'s camp that this may be an effort potentially to walk into what they believe is a perjury trap. Now, what we uh, understand is that this, uh, these discussions about Trump Jr. coming back started several weeks ago, even before the Mueller report came out. But after the Mueller report came out, our sources are telling us that Trump Jr.'s position essentially hardened, and he has resisted coming back in, according to our sources. And, Demo and Democrats and Republicans on that committee are pushing him to come back. Now, what, uh, what we're told from one source familiar with the matter that Donald Trump Jr. may even take the fifth if he were to come to Capitol Hill and be forced to testify or potentially not come at all, which, of course, would raise a whole slew of questions and potentially they could move to con moving, hold him to contempt, uh, holding him in contempt. That is not being so seriously discussed from what we know at the moment, but at least something that could be on the table if he were to go that route. But nevertheless, significant here, Wolf, that the president's eldest son, subpoenaed by this Republican-led committee as part of its Russia probe and now fighting with the committee over his testimony because they want him to come back. The question is, what will he ultimately do, and how will the Democrats and Republicans respond if he doesn't come and answer their questions? It's so significant because, as you know, the Senate leadership, the Republican leadership, uh, said the Russia probe is over. Case closed, Mitch McConnell said yesterday, insisting it's time to move on. So how significant is it that a Republican-led committee, Richard Burr is the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, is fighting to bring Donald Trump Jr. back in. Well, it shows that this committee is not done with this investigation. It has been going on since the beginning of 2017. It's dragged on. They've moved at a much slower clip than the Mueller probe. And the members on this committee, particularly Mark Warner, the vice chairman of this committee, has wanted to bring back some key witnesses. We heard, we saw Jared Kushner come back several weeks ago. Now they want to bring back Donald Trump Jr. to see, uh, ask him follow-up questions to see if there's anything that Democrats believe may have been inconsistent with what they learned. They want him to. They just want to be able to question him again. Uh, so it shows that the the committee is still investigating this matter going forward. Whether they can come to any sort of different conclusion that Robert Mueller reached, that's an entirely separate question. But at the moment, a fight over process. Democrats and Republicans want Donald Trump Jr. to come back. Donald Trump Jr. at the moment is resisting. Well, well they, do they want to just compare what he said then? as opposed to what he might say the next time to see if there was any perjury or lying going on? Well, it's not entirely clear, Wolf, because we have not seen the transcript of what Donald Trump Jr. said the first time before this committee. He did come before the Senate Judiciary Committee. We saw the transcript of his testimony before that panel, but not before the Senate Intelligence Committee. So it's not entirely clear what questions they want to follow up with him on, what they saw from the Mueller report, where they want to ask more questions about that they may have learned, that perhaps they didn't drill down deep enough, or perhaps there's something that, that he said before that they want to ask him about again. All those, it's uncertain because, as you know, this is a classified committee. They operate in secret. This testimony happened behind closed doors. So what we're learning now, though, is that they do want him to come back. They issued a subpoena, and that can only be done with the support of the Republican chairman of that committee, Richard Burr, and he is the one who issued that subpoena along with Mark Warner. So the question is, will they get their questions answered? And what will Donald Trump Jr. Yeah. do? How significant is it that Donald Trump Jr. is now being subpoenaed by the Republican Majority Senate Intelligence Committee? Well, I think you've put your finger on what makes it particularly significant, is that this is not the House under Democratic control. This is the Republican-controlled uh, Senate Judiciary Committee. And they have been doing a largely bipartisan investigation, again, unlike the House, um, of uh, matters relating to Russia. And they want to hear from uh, Donald Trump Jr. again. You know, one of the very notable facts in the Mueller report was that Donald Trump Jr. did not speak to the Mueller investigators. And it is entirely possible he will not speak to uh, the Senate. The question is, how will he do that? Will he take the fifth, which he's certainly entitled to do? Will he simply not show up and dare them to hold him uh, in contempt? Uh, or will he testify? Uh, all of those options are now on the table, but Don Jr. has to come up with an answer, and soon. Yeah, if he pleads the fifth, you know, Laura Jarrett, you're an expert in this area, or if he simply doesn't show up, what, what would result from that? 
Well, two different possibilities there. Both are, are messy. Uh, if he pleads the fifth, the committee could try to offer him immunity in exchange for his t testimony. Uh, we've seen offers like that before. That gets a little bit tricky in terms of if a prosecutor then wants to later prosecute him for lying to Congress. Uh, so we'd have to see how that plays out. If he simply just doesn't show up, then I think Burr is in a tough spot because then does he subpoena, sorry, does he follow through with a contempt vote right. essentially for Don Jr. flouting a subpoena? This is the president's son. Uh, so that could, that would be a, a, a different route, uh, but equally possible. It's just a matter of which one, which of those two evils does Don Jr. want to choose? I can only imagine, Nia, how angry the president of the United States uh, is right now knowing that his son, his right? eldest son, Donald Trump Jr., is being subpoenaed to come before the Republican majority Senate Intelligence Committee. That's right, because so far in this back and forth about Barr coming uh, b before Congress or releasing the uh, unredacted report, you basically had Democrats on one side uh, and Republicans and Donald Trump and the DOJ on another side. And here you have uh, Republicans essentially saying they want to hear from Donald Trump Jr. He's testified before under oath, I think, in 2017 uh, about uh, some of these matters, but there's some discrepancies apparently in, in what, uh, what he may have said in, in, in about the Trump Tower meeting in, in June 2016. So they want to clarify that. So if, if this goes further and they have to, uh, you know, he refuses to testify, I mean, you can imagine that battle between a Republican-led uh, Senate uh, committee, that would be something we haven't really seen before, Republicans standing up essentially uh, to the president and, and saying that they, they, too, they need to be compelled uh, to come before Congress. Well, let me get Bianca to weigh in because uh, the chairman... Bianna of the uh, of the committee, Richard Burr of North Carolina, Republican. Uh, he seems to be at odds right now with the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, whom yesterday delivered a powerful speech on the Senate floor, saying, "Case closed. It's all all over. Let's move on." Well, you could actually put a positive spin, dare I say, on this wolf to to show that the system may be working for a change, and that it's not just politics as usual. That uh, the Senate Intelligence Committee has a job to do, regardless of whether it's led by a Republican or Democrat. And for whatever reason, they feel like they need to hear more from Donald Trump Jr. As Nia said, going back to his testimony from 2017, we do know what he said before the Senate Judiciary Committee uh, was that he was just peripherally aware of the Trump Tower Moscow negotiations and conversations. Well, what we heard later on subsequently from Michael Cohen was that, no, he was uh, deeply involved in those discussions. So they could very well want to be talking to him uh, about what he knew and when he knew it. And if there was discrepancy over what he initially said a couple of years ago, you know, the Washington Post just reported that, that Donald Trump Jr. is said to be exasperated by this subpoena. So clearly things are getting elevated. But if you want to say that the system's working and that you ha you're not focused just on politics in a partisan way, uh, this could actually be a positive sign.